long preserved for our walk in this world. They resound. Welcome to Wednesday's Proverbial Wisdom. I am so glad that we get to spend this time together. Whether it's in the morning, in the middle of the day, or in the evening, that you and I can have a short Bible study devotional thought together to begin to keep our day going or to end our day. I'm glad that we are able to do this. I'm glad you allow me into your home, into your car, into your office, wherever it is that we spend this time together. Go ahead and open to Proverbs chapter 14. Proverbs chapter 14. And as we have been doing for the last couple of days or a few days, we're going to be looking at just a, a few verses. We're going to be looking from verses 19 through verse 22. As we look at these three verses or so, four verses, it's a group of verses that really, I think, has one simple message that's well in verse 21. But let's go back to verse 19. The evil bow down before the good, the wicked at the gates of the righteous. The poor is disliked even by his neighbor, but the rich has many friends. Whoever despises his neighbor is a sinner, but blessed is he who is generous with the poor. Do not do they not go astray who devise evil? Those who devise good meet steadfast love and faithfulness. You know, when you read verse 20 by itself, it is a true statement. It's not what God prefers, but it's just a simple, simple, true statement. In general, the poor are disliked by people and the rich have people gathered around them. That's human nature. But Solomon is saying that's not the way we are supposed to be. Look at verse 21. Whoever despises his neighbor is a sinner, but blessed is he who is generous with the poor. Those who devise good meet steadfast love and faithfulness. He's saying we need to be the person that is not like the world. We need to be the people that are different. That we are looking out for those that the world would cast aside. That we are people of justice and mercy and faithfulness. As God would say later on, that's who we need to be. In fact, Jesus would say it this way. When asked what the greatest commandment was, you remember to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. And then Jesus would add, the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. That's what Solomon is saying. If we're going to be people of wisdom, if we're going to be people of discernment, of prudence, of righteousness, then we're not going to be like the world and despise the outcast and despise the poor. But we're going to be those that throw our arms around them, that bear them up, that do what we can do as an individual and collectively to help those in need. Let's close our time together with prayer. Dear God, we thank you so much for the blessings that you give us. Father, we thank you for our love that, that we have from you. And Father, we express our love back to you. Father, we thank you for your care, your care for us. And Father, may we show that care to those around us. May we, as we love you, love those around us. Father, forgive us when we fall short. Help us to get back up and do what's right. Thank you for your grace, your forgiveness is in Christ. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining us for Proverbial Wisdom. I look forward to these. I hope you are as well. Until the next time we're together, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day.